You're a man who has the streets shaking right now on some level. Maybe on the highest level. <laughs> or what? <laughs> what are we saying about your... Is that where we start the culture chunk? Is it fair? But you had it, what, for the whole weekend on some level, on the socials? You had yeah, 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 yeah. I much. saw that. I saw that. Let's, let's talk about uh, wh- what is happening, actually. What, so... You know, mm. I, it was like these internet back and forth and people yeah. posting video selfies. That's not the hip-hop way. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's all dead shit. Yeah. It's crazy that the answers nobody had I found when searching for myself. Let's toast to victory. Pick up your glass, show me love. Welcome to Chopping It with Buddha T. I am still to this day the Lord of immediately when the chop starts, the four comes on on the leg. <laughs> <laughs> then, you know, we do doing business. A lot of the entire, a lot of the fit, a lot of the every. Uh, shade Game is the verdict. Aluta, of course, is doing it again with the Shade Game. We're reframing Africa. Don't get it twisted. A lot of the fit, Black Merge is going crazy. Put the realest nigga of all time in a crop. <laughs> Making history. <laughs> Oh, what a time to be alive. Uh, Culture Chop, we're back in business with the OG, Rashid K, the most epic of all time, Fox. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there sir. Are, let's do it. Let's do this. Welcome back once again, gentlemen. Uh, today was, I had to make a call where uh, I had a certain amount of time in the studio I had a guest, I had the culture chop, and it was like, what are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> and here we are and for the we culture are. chop, we're back in business. How Big are you business. gentlemen feeling? Me, I'm soft, I'm all good, man. I'm locked in. What's the life? Can't cry, can't complain, just putting in work, you know, yeah. looking forward to the chop. Just outside. You already know. Oh, gee. I'm all good, man. No complaints, <laughs> you know. I'm feeling good. Yeah. It's it's been busy. Yeah, you you're a man who has the streets shaking right now on some level. Maybe on the highest level. <laughs> or what? <laughs> what are we saying about your is that where we start the culture chunk? Is it fair? I think it's good. In passing though, we can't, we can't dwell on it. We can't dwell on it. We, you don't want to dwell? Yeah, we can mention in passing and whatever that people want to know. Is it really in passing though when we look at but like you had it what for the whole weekend on some level on the socials you had yeah 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 Pretty much. I saw that I saw that so I guess maybe it's fair to welcome us by saying by clarifying that uh, our OG Rashid K put out uh, it's it's we it's by definition a it diss track true. yes it is. <laughs> 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 By definition, I mean, if I, I, I mentioned nobody's name on the track, you figured it out. Yeah, but I mean, he went as far as having uh, an actor on scene, yeah, <laughs> on set, yes, to perform as uh, the intended target. How do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people that size. <laughs> this man. Is... Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm bullshitting. You know what it of is. Of course. Yeah. Uh, so. Let's let's talk about uh, wh- what is happening actually. What so? What's the where did that come from? Because <laughs> I don't think any of us saw that coming. I didn't. At least I, I didn't. Did, think I didn't sure. Didn't see it coming. Yeah, I didn't think yeah, that's I, did, it was I going. didn't see it coming myself. You know, mm. I, it was like these internet back and forth and people yeah. posting video selfies. That's not the hip hop way. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's all dead shit. Yeah. Okay. So, so I had, I had the the idea came when I was in the studio. You know, um, Immortal Beats uh, play me some beat. Like, okay, let me write on this right now, right here. I did that. 
We yeah. shot the video on the same day. It was not like premeditated. We, we recorded and shot a video the same day. And yeah. I had no expectations, you know. And I never even, I posted the video on YouTube. I didn't even post it on, on my social media pages. I posted a link. Hey, check yeah. this out. OG versus a nigga that's old. That's <laughs> out. You know? Yeah. So other people, other people went to YouTube, downloaded the video, posted yeah. the video on Facebook, Twitter, mm -hmm. Instagram. You know what I mean? And then it went viral. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so you're, what you're saying is, for you, it was just another day in the stool. I wasn't, I wasn't promoting anything. I wasn't yeah. selling anything. This is just so, what so, and, you and, felt and like I didn't addressing. Care, I didn't care whether he sees it or not. Mm. Because because I didn't tag him. When he posted that a video selfie, he tagged me on, on, on Instagram because he wanted me to see it. So with me, it was just whatever, man. When you're saying the video selfie, you're referring to him now when he... Yeah. The response. When he made that... Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll to ask because you're saying, like, obviously to you, it wasn't premeditated. Eh? So yeah. even in studio, like, you were just being there and I was just like, actually... When you heard the beat, it yeah, just like I was like, actually, because we had, we had, I had, I had addressed, I had, I had responded to that video selfie on the show. Remember? Yeah, yeah, of course. When I was yes. clarifying mm. all of that, you know. Mm. So that idea came when I was in the studio. You yeah. know, I was like, you okay. decided actually. Let me just put this on wax. Yeah, let me put it on mm. wax. You know. So. Now, out of interest, obviously, as you're saying this, I'm wondering, so are you a man that's very, like, uh, generally, you spend time in the stool putting in? No. That's a part of your life? No, or? I don't. I don't. Every once in a while. Oh, okay, okay, I, yeah, okay. Yeah, every once in a while. I, mm. It's not like, that's not my bread. Yeah, 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 I feel you. That's feel not you. my bread, yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay. there's two... Oh, I thought you had something. So yeah. there's two perspectives that are possible in this, of course. Yeah, yeah. And I want to put them to you. And then obviously we'll have to, you'll have to lead us into yeah. which one you're actually coming from. There's a perspective where it could look as though, okay, so Rashid K could possibly just be sitting on this show saying some wild shit, chasing clouds, and now that... There's some cloud available. He tried to put out... Uh, tried to dust off the mic. Yeah, he nah, tried to nah, get on the did, mic. Never and, did. Okay, he, let me give you both okay, uh, okay. perspectives. Yeah. Because for me, I feel as though there's there's both perspectives. Yes, right? yes. There could be people who see it that way and say, oh, this is just a cloud thing that he's doing. Or yeah. then there's also the perspective of, nah, this is just hip-hop. This I'm a guy that that raps. He's a guy that raps. We have a feud going on. I put it on wax. It's the hip hop, and boy. I'm doing it the hip hop way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Which one of those would you say you're standing on? I'd say I'm. I'm remember, he has he hasn't dropped anything in in four years. If I was chasing clout, I was gonna maybe target someone who's hot right now. That's a That's fair, fair assessment. Uh, uh, you, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's, a fair, fair assessment. That's a fair assessment, no? Yeah. Uh, you, you know what I mean? So it's, it's none of that. It's just, it's mm. just, I'm, I'm, I'm cultured. It was, it was the culture in, in me that came yeah, out. That you just had to get in there yeah. and give yeah, it to us. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? So, yeah. it. so what exactly did you feel like you had to address on the song or were you just having fun with it? I had I had too much fun, man. Yeah, was, yeah. I had too much fun, you know. And and I didn't expect the 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 the, the feedback because when I checked, overall the videos that were posted, they made over a million views in a day, and <laughs> and, 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 and more than <laughs> and, and more than two million impressions, you know. And I think we focused too much on controversy and negativity there are yeah. albums there are albums and songs that dropped on the same day but were overlooked because mm. people were entertaining this thing i mean it is entertaining i know i know it is entertaining imagine imagine every week if every album or, or song or hip-hop song that drops um receives same attention hip-hop will yeah. be big you know but we 
wait for so funny stuff. To that's see. actually what I want to dissect right yeah. now. In the statement that you've just made is that you're pretty much saying you, you shared on the album that <laughs> on Friday with your diss track because of the numbers. If we look at the numbers. Not intentionally. Or am I wilding? No, no, not intentionally. I'm saying people didn't, <laughs> didn't, they didn't pay they didn't pay attention to other stuff that dropped on on that friday yeah. you know cuz it was all about this particular track yeah so uh, do you enjoy the cult and the 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 virality of these moments that come no no <laughs> it, it's it's it doesn't it doesn't change anything you know i'm yeah. I'm, I'm i'm not i'm not selling anything it's not going to yeah, you have nothing to promote. Yeah, I have nothing to promote. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. I fuck Did you with worry on, on any level about like people um, maybe in comparison to you and the big homie in terms of the raps? Like, they, you, they, is they, that something they, you thought about? Like, they, 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 they were going to do that, you know, and some people were scared and on my behalf yeah, and yeah. some people projected their fears on me yeah. <laughs> no, no dog have you ever heard of david and goliath mm. You, mm. you know have you ever heard of the favorite and the underdog it happens all the time yeah. it happens all the time so you cannot because <clears throat> i saw a, a, a lot of rappers who wouldn't dare uh, um, approach yeah. this guy say hey, what are you? and peop, a lot of people caught caught feelings because they were either fans or they either put this nigga on a pedestal. Mm. Yeah. That he, he, he's untouchable. You can't blame them, though, no, because you know the big homie also is he's, he's he one is of a one. He's a legendary with the, nigga, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. one of one. Who, who said legends can't be tested or can't be challenged? That's fair. So that's another thing for me that, yeah. we, that we do have to ask. So I, what is your perspective of the battle itself because when you then rap at a nigga yeah you are open you are opening up platform for a battle that means you are putting him to test to either respond or however he may feel the need of to. course of course so where do you feel you stand in a lyrical uh confrontation with a man like stogie who is held at the helm the that is highest. held at as far as his lyrical ability. And are you at all concerned, uh, actually, that's what about I'm asking you. Yes. I, 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 I'm not. I'm not. And, and knowing how superior America is with the weaponry, you'll never know until you attack it. Mm. Okay, so you're saying you don't mind poking Regardless, the bear. Yes. Regardless, you... Uh, that's that. That's not the correct statement because you know the backstory. I'm not the one who who started the poking. It, it's been going back and forth. It's just that I I, I decided to take it to the booth, <laughs> but it's still the same shit. It's still the same back and which forth. Which is where he's a beast at. Which yeah. is where he's a bear. At. And you are not at all because because we can talk all day. We can tweet all day. And you're not at all worried about the what may come back from that. What? It seems like him. Like he, on a you're, not, yeah. you're not worried about the response. Would, he might come back and kill you or go you, crazy you, on you. You know when you when <clears throat> when you go to war with with, with Mujahideen, when you go to holy war, you you going to war with people who are strapped with bombs. Okay, it means it means they have nothing to lose. They're ready to die. But what about your safety? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Are you That's ready your to stance in, <laughs> <laughs> That is your stance in this war. Yeah. Is that you you are ready to say I'm not selling anything. Whether I win or lose a battle, it's not gonna affect it my sales negatively nothing. or positively. And another yeah. thing I wanted to ask also, yeah. let's say he does respond. Yeah. Is this something you see because from my understanding, this obviously wasn't an intentional yeah. diss track or try to go at it like that, but the spur of the moment type of thing and expressing how you feel. So if he were to respond, do you see yourself like engaging in another song or for you it was just a one off like, I just wanted to get my rocks off, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I'll... <clears throat> I'll I'll cross that river when I get there. And it's a two-part question. Yeah. Let's say he does <laughs> not respond. Yeah. Do you say, ah, 
I took the W. Yes, oh. yes, yes, I love it. <laughs> do you, or do you just walk away in the same uh, way? Yes. Like, and no, no. also, uh, this is also a question for uh, the viewer, everybody yeah. at home. Uh, what is our conclusion in in the battle? Because it's officially a battle. I mean, it's rap. If Stogie does not respond and decides uh, he walks he walks away. Mm-hmm. Is this a W to Rashid K? Like respectfully. I, yes. I don't think I don't think that's how these tracks are judged. You know, mm. there, there's, there's there's a few times when when KO was dissed, he didn't respond. You remember that MT do it? No, not no, not. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. fair. That's fair. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Mm. Big Zulu put out a diss track. He also dissed Stogie. Stogie didn't respond to Big Zulu, and okay. a couple of, of of artists didn't didn't respond. You can't you can't say because somebody didn't respond, so you won. That's okay. not how it's judged. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. So if he walks away, that means we all just walk away. You just move on. It will move on. Yeah. You know. Okay, we are all ready to move on, or what? Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, moving along. Uh, Maybe it would be fair. Okay. <clears throat> so, Stogie yeah. himself has seemingly also gone to the sobering. Shout out to, Shout out to bros, the sober man. soldiers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to our bros. Yeah. Uh, he has gone on that side and apparently has uh, thinked. But he, there he was just admitting that he was a poet. Is, uh, maybe, but we, we've already established and, and passed <laughs> that. You know, I don't think we have to go back there because no. that's what I said. A lot of people said I was capping, I was capping, and then he said it himself. Mm. It's the same thing when I said when I said. Um, well, AK, his words. Remember, were, remember you when misrepresented him. These are his exact words. I like for us to le- allow people to use their own exact words because okay. it's fair that way. No, no, not on that one. It was when I was shooting. Um, that was back in 2012 when I was shooting a hip-hop documentary. Oh, my goodness. When mm. I was shooting a hip-hop documentary, when he said he doesn't want to be represented by me, he will tell his own story. Yes. That was re- referring to something else. Yes, yes. Yeah. All I'm saying is there's a clip here that mm-hmm. Colbert, shout out to Colbert once more, because <laughs> he's a supplier of he's a plug. all the crucial clips of... You know, of the culture. Yeah. Shout out to him. There's a clip he posted here, which you showed me just before the show, actually. Yeah. So should we maybe give... It's two minutes. We can spare two minutes to yeah. give Stogie uh, a moment to uh, tell his side of the story. Because yeah. also, I haven't actually seen the clip or heard what he said. Yeah. So I'm interested. I, am I gonna be, are we going to be able to hear it from out here? Okay, it's buffering. We can embark on the liquor, gentlemen. Feel free. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, feel at home. Get it in. I'm trying to. I'm making an attempt to play the Stogie clip. It is just buffering for whatever reason. Okay, here he is. Of rappers. You know what I mean? Shout out and, to the yeah, yeah, exactly. with MC. I wasn't, listen, so. <laughs> Listen, listen, listen. Hold on, listen. And I'm, and I'm, I, I, this has been said. I think Sabs is here. Sabs is here somewhere. He posted it. Every single thing that people say is a poem that I did is on beat. As in, I can rap it to a beat. It's just, there's no beat. <laughs> Mm. So everything, every single thing. I there's not one people can say, ah oh, man, this one. So it's just it, it, the style of writing. It's just so. It's it's so. It's so. It's so. No, listen, Rafaela. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? That was you squatting them. You you know? No, no. <laughs> Look at this nigga denying his name. <laughs> no. In all fairness, you, uh, you were like the poster child for the poets. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. I was, so, I right. was. But so calling you a poet MC is not far fetched. No, my email is poet MC, bro. That's your fault. No, no, but poet no. MC. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Poet MC. Hold Yahoo. on, hold on. <laughs> the argument no it's not Yahoo, man. <laughs> the 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 the. the, the the problem, the only problem yeah. I had is someone said I started out as a poet and they said that in order to invalidate an opinion I had on essay albums. Uh, and that is the problem I uh, had. 
is that you can disagree with me, but when you go, okay, I disagree with your opinion. And also, I I detest that people care about your opinion. Yeah. You feel okay, me? Okay. That was the whole thing. Uh, yeah. yeah, unplug us there, sound man. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely work. Bring us back. Uh, <clears throat> shout out to Stogie T and shout out to the Sobering, no? Amazing shout content. Shout out to the Sobering. Shout out to the Sobering. Amazing, amazing content. First of all, shout out to the, the Sober Soldiers. Like, just the work that they're doing for podcasting because that was at a live podcast event, no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit, when I saw it on the net, I was like, ah, oh, damn, I wish I went. I wish I had attended. Uh, I would have loved to have been there and seen it live. But shout out to them. They're doing... Big Some words. amazing work. Uh, and to touch on... S- I would have loved to be there too. <laughs> I don't think you would have been allowed <laughs> in the building. <laughs> I, mean, I think you yeah. would have been bounced out the building. But I mean, I, who knows? Um, they also were on the um, Hype Magazine cover. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the Sobering Podcast. So that's the first podcast... That's the first issue. Hip hop uh, we, we on it as well. The masterclass we have like some three pager there. Oh, you guys inside were... that that oh. same issue. Yeah, shout out masterclass. to the masterclass. <laughs> Big <laughs> lovely work, yeah. lovely work. That's fire. Uh, and shout out to hype uh, for doing for taking that step. Yeah, to, fucking with the talent. Yeah. yeah, to take podcasts and take them that seriously and put them on the cover. That's fire. Big shout, uh, shout Big out, business. shout out. Now Stogie. Why does he feel the need to fight the poet narrative on this level? Because <laughs> even when you listen to that clip, even the sober niggas are, are low-key like, somewhat pressing. Yo, it's all good. So what so what did he say on there? He's like he, what was that breakdown? He's like uh, everything that he said is on. The, he everything said that everything he, is done that is considered spent. poetry can be hit on a beat, <laughs> but it's just that he's doing it without the beats. What does that mean? Mm, what is what? he saying that to say? To say that he's not really a poet but a rapper. It's just that he did it without the beats, which is poetry. <laughs> I said what I said, man. I'm and dead. You see, you, you see where it's at now. I don't know, maybe it's the, the narrative of a poet. Maybe he feels like it's lame. I don't know. Okay, but obviously it's fair though. No, he doesn't feel that it's lame. It's fair because he goes on to explain that. He felt as though you saying you brought that up to invalidate his opinion, I guess, oh, on, yes, on classics. Because we were talking about uh, his opinion on then being no essay hip hop classics. But you must understand how, how it came out. It didn't just like a eh, hip hop classic, no, to me was a poet. No. Mm. You must you must listen to the whole thing and understand how, how it came out or yes. how it came about. You know? So And okay, maybe because you're here and I didn't take it that way on the day. Did you take it that way first? No. I don't, because you mentioned him being a poet because you said he spat a poem about the lady who gave yeah, birth yeah. on the tree. Because I, I was there, I was there, you know, before he even dropped any any rap album. Yeah. You know, he was doing those, he was reciting those poems. You know, I... And I, I, saw, I, saw, I saw some, some, some responses from the fans like, no... He's, he's always been a god MC. He's never been a po a poet. I'm like, I was there. I'm not talking something that I read. You know. Mm. Now he said mm. it himself. You know. And it's the same thing. Remember when when I I mentioned that I don't remember what we we're talking about the the AKA and Antle. And I saw people saying I'm capping until uh, AKA's father confirmed that he yeah. expected Antle to be my good. I'm like. Yeah, he, he went on the pod so, so, himself, it, yeah. so, so it, it happens <clears throat> like that all the time. When I say things that people don't know, like, ah, this nigga is making mm. this shit up until someone that's directly involved confirms, confirms. it. Yeah. Also, I don't, yeah. like, I remember, I don't think the sentiment behind what you were saying was to invalidate his street Not cred or Not his credibility yeah. to speak on hip hop. I don't think, I, I think, think you were just telling I a backstory. I think the problem, the problem is people watching the 30 second clip. 
you know, we, without getting the context. <clears throat> but even his response sounds like he may have not tapped into the whole clip. You know what I mean? So it may it may have been a misunderstanding. Because I don't it, think it he may used have that. been, or, or, yeah. or I, the thing is also the, the the waters are so muddy at this point that yeah. even me, but I don't want to get the my thing shoes is, dirty. The thing is, because this I is feel not, like I'm going to get thrown this, into okay, this beef on some is, level. This shit goes way back. <clears throat> yes, so, so, that's what I was about so to bring up. So you're always going to be sensitive about what this nigga say. You know, even yes. even if it doesn't come from a bad place, mm-hmm. you know, you're going to interpret it some type of way. Hey. Okay, yeah, you guys will figure your, you guys, yeah. I, you your to, thing out. You no, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I, I, I said what I said. I didn't even want to dwell on this this long. Mm. Uh, just to go back to the sobering thing before we move on, because we mentioned that they got the hype cover and mentioning that in passing kind of feels like... A, a, it feels criminal a bit. Yeah. Uh, I saw when Hype put that out, there's people who hated on that. Did you need to see I, that? I, yeah, I saw the that. The people I who saw, were like, I, I oh, why are you putting a pod- podcast yeah. as on the... No, I, I saw I that. I didn't get that whole thing. No, I saw that. Are, Ely... are we not advanced to a level where we, as a culture, understand that there are different pockets of the culture that play a role in the culture and deserve to be given a yeah. platform and pedestal. For sure. It's, Hype, it's, Hype it's, magazine itself is a pocket. Yeah. The same way podcasts are a platform, Hype is a platform. But it's mm. evolution. It's 2024. People must adapt. I you don't know, understand we, the we, confusion. We, we, we had the, 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 the same attacks in 2015 at the SA Hip Hop Awards when we were moving from CDs to digital. Like people mm. like... How can you how can you nominate an album that's not on uh, on the physical that doesn't have a physical code? People were fighting us for <laughs> for, for, for nominating yeah, which, albums it shouldn't that were be only, eligible. Yes, that's you know. Crazy. So I think eventually people will adapt. Yeah, yeah I think it's, I personally think it's mad because like I think hype magazine as um, something that serves the culture and is a platform for the culture. It's more than just about rappers. There's a whole like culture behind hip hop. They can even put like hip hop executives or people who have open labels. Like that's the type of shit that should be going on. Of course, yeah. You're not just gonna see rappers only on the cover. I don't think that's a real thing. I didn't get it. I didn't understand the outrage. Uh, But we do also. It's the lack of knowledge. People who think hip hop is rap. Yeah, which is something that has become uh, a reoccurring theme on this show where we yeah. have to keep disciplining the audience <laughs> and teaching them, who, yo, <laughs> hip-hop is not just rapping, guys. Like, this just thing is... A, yeah. But we're here for you. We're here for the culture and we're going to teach for as long as we exist. Yes, gentlemen, that's the contract? Yes, yes sir. So. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely work. Um... More culture would be shit. Actually, when you spoke about, because I don't have it in my notes, but I don't want to move on without mentioning. Did any of you listen to Spelele? Oh, Pete.O. Oh, shout out to Pete.O. He put out his sixth studio album. Yeah. Right? I did, uh, I did check it out. I, I did check it I out. I have not yet checked it I out because my weekend was a bit crazy. Me too. But I saw some good reviews about the album. As it's somebody a, a, who jammed it, it's a, it's a dope album. It was like mm. I had to <clears throat> same day I dropped. I had to run away from all that noise, and I bumped Pelele. Run away from your own noise. From my own noise, <laughs> you know. And what a noble guy, <laughs> you know. And and I really, I have it here. I really enjoyed that album. Yeah, <clears throat> Pete O is somebody that is. Yeah, here's the album. He's hailed highly also as far as the pen is considered in, in SA he, hip hop. His pen game yeah, is fair. crazy. He's no? up there with it. That is yeah. his bag. Yeah. That is his uh Yeah, that's that, his that that's his lane. That's his lane. He's yeah. there with the with lane. the with the gingers, with the stogies, the black fighting lanes. for lyricist of the year. Yeah. That that's his lane. Fire. Shout out to Black Lair. Uh, mm. <laughs> you just said Black Lair. Yeah. <laughs> P 
P dot P dot. You're pretty blacklist <laughs> in the yeah. in the corner. Because you know they mm-hmm. have, they 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 run the it. Speaking of blacklist, yeah. yeah. he once had a, a thing with Stogie and he promised him hands. It was on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> wait, let's promise ah, promise wait, Stogie what? hands. You know, That's it was crazy. on Twitter. I don't know if it's one of the reasons he deactivated his Twitter account. That's crazy. It's how long wait, wait, this was this? Break, <laughs> break the story down because you know that it, it's fair that you give you, context to stories. Did so you that, chop it up with Blackless? Yeah, we chopped it up, but I had no knowledge of this. I would have asked him about hey, this. Hey, yeah. hey, man, yeah. And him and I ago? do also need a part, two, so maybe in the part two. Yeah, but now nah, it's an old story. There's it's an old story, yeah. Oh, that was just story. mentioning it in passing. Okay, you don't know. There's no context. Do you know what the young was between them? I, I I can't remember exactly, but Blackless can tell you all. So what happened after the promise? Ah, uh, there was of the, the hands. There, there was um deafening silence. <sighs> Maybe they squashed it behind the scenes. Maybe it's all good. Yeah, you know, maybe a phone call. Yeah, maybe they squashed it behind the scenes. They chopped it up. Um, Ubas, uh, I don't know. That's how you say Bas's name, ne? Ubas from... Bas. With Bas, ne? (laughs) (laughs) Ubas. Ubas from Dreamville is going on tour with Blackie. Extremely big. That's crazy. On a U International... Uh, high level many a date so yeah so I saw it I saw it 25, 25 shows so Myama the hardest the greatest so Myama the man 25 who, shows who uh, now obviously at some point we don't have to do it now we'll have to revisit that top 5 that we hit earlier in the yes, year in our first episode yeah. <laughs> and address where people are standing because some people are getting back to work and then things start looking different when they Thanks. get back to work. Because yeah. when we were judging, maybe we we, were, we had 2023, which was a year that Blackie Loki took off. Yeah. He was working as on the music. As far putting yeah. out and he was yeah, working on the moves. He was plotting. Now he's, he's, he started on the high. When you then he's back to remind the niggas yeah. where he really stands in the, he's at the in top. the conversation. He's at the top. And uh also that uh, what is that? GMG Freestyle? What is GMG that? GMG Freestyle a crazy business. If you tap in and you hear the talk on Listen the, to the pain. The boy actually is <laughs> he's really the boy. <laughs> no, nah, the boy is really the boy, but we'll address that at a different stage of the game. I just wanted to highlight that <clears throat> Let's not sleep on because when you say with what, these are the type of things that we. Were, I know. We gonna... I, I know. That was then. This is now. He has twenty five shows. He has twenty five shows. I'm aware of those shows. He's <laughs> gonna come back rich. <laughs> Doing big business. I hope they don't do him dirty. Yeah. You know, and the freestyle was was crazy as well. So we see yeah. all those things. And just and the work rate, the ethic, yeah. the work ethic yeah, is the crazy. Yeah, the work ethic has always been crazy. Because even that freestyle, he hit a video, and like, look at the quality of the video. That shows like he's really tapped in. He's really yeah. going harder. Far shit. So shout out to Somiyama, the hardest, the, the greatest hardest for that. Greatest. I did. I did just want to highlight that. Um, <clears throat> there's a situation that is also out there in hip hop that I feel like, because uh, I think we need to cover more of also the things that uh, are happening that are business related as far as the the niggas in the culture is involved. There's yeah. the situation that I feel we overlooked, maybe because it happened towards the end of the year last year. Yeah. And we started our first job top of the year. Also didn't have enough time. Blockbusters, we just going crazy. But I wanted us to go back to a situation with uh, Zucci and Stay Low. Yeah. There's a, there's a situation going on on there that Zucci himself put out a song and addressed. Uh, yeah. You gentlemen are aware of this situation? Yes, yes I'm, I'm aware of this situation. That was my favorite song. Too. And yeah. I know the song, yeah. I was bumping that so shit. So that, that friction. I don't know what's the cause of it between Vaughn mm. and, and Zuchi. Yeah. Do you know the backstory? I, I think because Zuchi is very quiet and um, how he moves, he's, 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 I think he's just too much of a real nigga. He doesn't like putting his things out there like that. So mm. we'll never really know the depths. And obviously Vaughn, I don't think he's a... Someone who speaks, especially in the social spaces. So yeah. I think it's all up to speculation about just like contract um, disputes 
or you know maybe someone feels yeah. or preached on some level the contracts are a problem even when you speak on zuchi not really being somebody who comes out to speak on his business is what makes this something that i think we shouldn't ignore because yeah. this time he, he came out him. himself and said guys this is what i feel like i'm going through yeah. and these people are putting me through this he he goes on a, a lengthy Yeah, in the music he can actually on the yeah. intro song. He's uh, pretty much the end telling of the song us. where he says, "Yo." So his claims are he didn't sign didn't sign these contracts. These contracts. So and I didn't now, agree to mm. these terms. So and now you know where <clears throat> no paperwork comes from. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, do yeah. we have bombs in the building? That, <laughs> That was fire. That's crazy. That's super crazy. Yeah. That's <laughs> They might have shot themselves. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's baby. dangerous. Okay, so anyway. as fire of a bar as that is, what is our take on because and the, and this is a this is the reason I want us to discuss this because I want us to look at this because this is seemingly becoming a legal battle between Zuchi, Coke Dope, and Stay, Stay Low. Low. Yeah. Um. Uh. We know this because. Uh, well, today, the day we are shooting this on, we're putting out the Fred uh, episode. Fred Gayembe, he's from uh, Stay Low. He's uh, a partner and I guess, yeah, works out there. So he's a part of the situation and him and I spoke on it mm. uh, or to some capacity on some level. Obviously, he couldn't necessarily get all the way into it, but it's that serious to also like make those types of claims to come out and say yo because then you're accusing stay low of uh what is that what is it when you or when fraud you yeah yeah it's fraud that is fraudulent like, no yeah also the identity what do they call it forgetting but yeah it's fraudulent Stay yeah there's fraudulent. all sorts of legal terms you're forging, that we are yeah. not legal practitioners <laughs> for everybody <laughs> at home so we don't have the, the terminology but so these are the disputes that are happening on there yeah. what is our take on that entire situation from stay low side of the business and from zuchi's side of the business um, if he says if he says yeah, if he says he didn't sign any contract yeah he can just walk away That's true. Yes. Mm. Unless it's 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 more than but meets he, the eye. But he does say on the song that they brought contracts with his signature on them. Yeah. That that's he's, what he's saying, saying he didn't sign, like, but I they don't are know contracts these contracts. That's with. fraud. Yeah. That's fraud. He, he can saying, take them to court. I don't know these contracts. I've never seen this he paper. Can, he let alone sign. Yeah, he can take them to court for forging his signature. Yeah. But I think obviously, you know, if anyone knows anything about stay low is that the bag is the longest so i think as far as going to legal battle yeah i think even as far as like maybe the issues that may hinder him from just moving on may not be as simple as that like as him just walking away you know because I what do you mean when you say that expand on that i want you to expand on that because that's a great point because i feel like similar things happened to maybe people who walked away from ambitious entertainment yeah where I think, the bag was just as long also i think where the bag is long i think you know people that move like that i think the pressures or the things that happen are more behind the scenes that um hinder you they may not even be contractual but for a lot of people they look at it like i'm going up up against a giant <coughs> of sorts you know mm. do i have the legal capacity i mean the coins to fund this legal motion that i'm trying to be on you know yeah. so sometimes people get into conversations and they're trying to settle it out of court because it may be a long way and mm. you don't know how far they've gone if like he can say people have have contracts that are signed under his name like mm. how far you can go as to proving that firstly that that's not true and all these things so mm. i think because those are the things influential people with money also they they own and I think have power in it a lot of, and a lot of market share in the game right so definitely the relationships they have even 
they are very lengthy. So even for you to be able to get out and maybe drop music or maybe sign on to another label or get help from specific people, it gets a little tricky. You know, you heard from a lot of people in Ambitious or who are ex-Ambitious coming out saying, even after I've left the label, shit is hard. Like, my shit's not moving. I can't drop here. Mm. Or my, the radio's not taking my shit. They're not spinning my shit. So, yeah, I think, like, where the bag is long, there's a lot of things we may not yeah. know. I think I think he needs, before engaging to such things, he needs a um, legal representative. I'm not saying he doesn't have, but it's the second time, you know, he went through some shit with fit season as well. It now yeah, it's yeah. with Benzo, no? yeah, with uh, with Benzo, yeah. Now, was the exit ugly out there also? It, it it wasn't it wasn't ugly, but it was like um, a situation of I don't want to be here anymore for whatever reason. Yeah, yeah. So it's happening again, you know. So I think mm. he 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 need to beef up his legal team. Okay, and for me, so. I have maybe a two-part question. Is it advisable for Zuchi to come out and make that type of allegation publicly? And do we think that he's a disgruntled artist, maybe just throwing a tantrum and maybe he did sign the paperwork or is he telling the truth? People really may have fraudulently put his name on certain papers. The, the problem is we don't know, before he, he went public, we don't know how many times he tried to reach out, you know, to say, yo, let's sort this out. And he was being ignored or, mm. you yeah. know, yeah. And, yeah. and he decided to like, you know what, fuck it. These guys are not taking me serious. Mm. This is what but I'm going to do. What me, my question is, do we think he actually did sign these papers and is a disgruntled artist kind of just saying shit? Or did he, is he really in a situation where like these people got me fucked up? It's like they actually got my For name me, in the, some papers that I didn't sign. For yeah. me, I don't know Zuchi to be a liar. So I, I believe what he's saying. I don't think anyone would like verbatim mm. say, I did not sign the papers. Also, I don't know these contracts that they mm. are talking about. So if that was cap, like that would be wild business. That would business. be a dangerous and cap too. I yeah. know Zuchi personally. You know? I don't know him to be a liar. Talk. And also another thing I wanted to say, adding on to, to, to these situations of like these independent labels with bags is that besides the workload, there's a lot of things that her happen in the personal space, right? Like financially, like there's some kind of funding that happens. I'm not saying that's the situation with him, but like mm. there's a lot of these things that happen in a personal capacity where money is spent. And now those are the things that may hold you back, even if you're not contractually obligated to still be there. Yeah, and you must know that when a quiet person speaks out, yeah. then there must be a problem, you know. And with, with, when it comes to signatures, there's, there's digital signatures. Yeah, of course. Yeah, know. We, it is 2024. And well, it is 2024. Whenever they may have done the, you know. their agreements. But it is the future. We do live in the future where... Yeah. But there's always loopholes. It's easier, yeah. There's well, always loopholes. So as the culture, do we lean more towards... We stand behind Zuchi, we support him as an artist of our favor, or do let, we... let, let, let's stand let's stand behind the truth, whatever happens, because Zuchi is hip hop, stay low is a hip hop label. You know, it's it it's all in the culture. So that's why I'm like, oh, do yeah. we preach uh, responsible business practices and stand behind stay low? So we I think once we know the facts, because yeah. it's hard to really jump. And let it unfold. But yeah. if I had to jump out the window, you know, I'm standing behind Zuchi. <laughs> He's standing behind Zuchi because that's <laughs> our nigga in real life. <laughs> yeah. Now, nah, uh, the responsible things to do as chopping it. Uh, what is that R when you put it as the business? Yeah, as chopping it, we're going to stand and wait on... On the truth. On the judge's call. We'll see. We'll keep our eye on that case and see how yeah. that goes moving forward. Um, <clears throat> now, coming from that label, I guess we may as well speak on this. I figured from our last conversation when we spoke on KO and uh, the closure of Skanda World, the label, yeah, and whether that's a failure or not, and this so forth. I figured <clears throat> we should maybe speak on 
rappers that have created labels, who has done it uh, at the highest level, and who's the goals of that handle. Because, so in SA, we have Okoakeo, who we spoke on. Yeah. He's done it a couple times. He has a couple brands that, to his name, we know because of, right? Yeah. Uh, we have Slicker with Slicker and Sugar Smacks, and it's Sugar fair Smacks. to say, with yeah, ventilation. Yeah. Yes. They gave us Cuesta. Uh, Yanga, we don't, uh, we don't give this. to them. <laughs> didn't come up under this, a rap. <laughs> so not Yanga, but... Uh, uh, who so Questa. Questa? They gave us Questa. They would leave it there. Yeah, but that was no. rap. But they were there also TLT. during a little like on a ventilation level. They were, I don't think they were signed, but I think they were just around. I think however, our however yeah. it happened. Mm. <laughs> but Questa. we'll put TLT more on a rap, rap life. life level. Yeah. So, uh, who else? AK never dabbled in AK that lifestyle, did, no? no? I mean, he gave us Yanga. We give him the Yanga cosign, no? Yeah. So we'll, we'll put him there just on the Yanga cosign level. Yeah. Well, we're not putting him there, like, in yeah, yeah, any. We, just just, we like, still have to establish. We're just saying the work that is done. Yeah, so we still course. have to establish who sits where. All right, cool. And then there's uh, Casper, of course, with Family, Family Tree. Tree. Um, um, who else is working now, Gunji? Double HP with Casper. <laughs> mm, yes. He gave us Casper. He gave us Muraf. He gave us Momulim. He had Likoko Entertainment. See, this is why we have the OG of yeah. the show. Yes, mm. he did do. Those are all his contributions. Yeah. You're right. Shit, Muraf is. That's a, that's a solid business. contribution. Yeah. Big business. Having Muraf and Casper. And, oh, who, rocking, is right? there anybody I'm forgetting? Reese. Do we count Reese now with... Uh, we have to count Reese. We have to. Revenge Club Records. Uh, we have to. Revenge Club Records, even the T... And uh, TWC, T-Dub. Yeah, he's done T-Dub. it twice. We have to give Shit. him... Hey, Reese is on there. Nasty C with... Nasty yeah, C, we have to um, give him Taylor Man and Rowling. Yeah. And what's his Tall Rex? Tall Rex, yeah. We have to give him for Tall Rex. Okay, okay. Um, Cotton Club Records. Okay, okay. Let me, let me take you guys back because we're taking it here. Amo had Buff Ground Entertainment where he gave us Wicked, where he gave us Salvin, yes. where he gave us No Tender. Uh, you know what I mean? And there was there was Sheer Hip Hop, which gave us Hidden Force, Zulu Mob. Um, and then there was also Unreleased Records. Are these rappers' labels? Rappers' labels. You have labels. to tell us whose label it is yes. when your name giving us the, the yeah, names. Yeah, like he had said, I'm with this one and yeah. I'm mm. with this one. Who's the sheer rap records? Whose label was that? It was um, Cabelo, Cabelo Sihuayi. It was under sheer, sheer, but it was um, sheer hip hop. It was. Uh, it was but Cabello is it a C. rappers' label? Because it was a rappers' label. Sheer hip hop. It was rappers only. No, I'm. No, what I mean, I'm like, saying is, owned is rappers run. starting labels is what the we're rap- talking about. Yes, rappers having their own labels is what we're talking like about. Like and a cash time, Yeah, you know? but yeah. What, what if you're not a rapper, you're a hip-hop scholar, and you start a label, you're signing rappers, that doesn't count? No, no, we want the we're rappers. We're talking about <laughs> it counts yeah. in another, in another way. conversation. Okay, okay. In this conversation, so we're rappers addressing who rappers labels. who started labels. labels and who did it best. We're still uh, counting and more who people. Has still, we're, still counting, we're still counting more people. Kulichana. And he gave us uh, Maclera, yes? Is, mm. that, is that his only? Yeah, it is just Maclera. Just for now. Oh, Nazi. Nazi, No. Um, and and the whole cosine, Twenty, isn't that Kuli Chan? Is that yeah, Kuli? I wanted to say also the yeah, Kuli. Twenty. Yeah, that's okay, Kuli. Twenty. Yeah. That was is there anybody else we've forgotten? Who else is there? Now we can't no, Casper. We name Casper. But Who else, that's the, that's the bulk of it. Is if there's anybody we forgot? Uh, Apologies. Who's the goal to? Yeah, Rep Life also. Questa. Rep Life, Questa, oh, yeah, shit. Rep yeah, life. You, you feel me? Yes. Rep mm. Life, Questa. Give uh, us TLT. What? Give now. us Marqua. 
Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, but Magua, TLT. Yeah, but he started his own label. We're yeah. saying he had artists. He had Magua, Magua TLT. He had TLT. You're saying Magua's no one. You're saying he didn't give you anyone. Magua's no one. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? You guys Do you know who Magua is? Magua. Hey. It's the reason why you guys love Cuesta. It's Magua. Come on. Come who on, do, no? Who did we... But these are the conversations that matter. Okay, so maybe let's get into that. And because that's how you judge it, right? You, yeah. You put everybody on the table and you're like, okay, who did they give us and how much of a contribution was that? Yeah. Let's start maybe on the generation above us because that's where KO... Okay, are they... Are they rap? They are. You you took us back to what? Abu. Abu, yeah, yeah. So where does it start? That's the generation before. How many of them? Abu is Abu the only one in that generation? Yeah. No, big dog. Okay, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> Respectfully, big dog. Is it because just Amu? I do know that Abu did give us the Selvin and the Nutella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I think that's actually where it started because SA hip hop went mainstream in 2003. Exactly. So that's as far you know? back as we can go with the history. Yeah. We're doing as much history as we can, yeah. guys. Forgive us. Education. Yeah. So, okay. So we'll start there. Amu, you see, give us the breakdown he gave us. Uh, Mr. Salvin, Wicked, and Notende. Shit, and Wicked had a run. Okay, so that's Who that's was the last fair. One? Not ten day. Um, she okay. was a. Female. She was a hook. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhat. Yeah. yeah. Shout well, out. that's kind of what she became. So Respectful. that generation is just Amu. Yeah, he's the only one who did business. <laughs> Shout out Amu. <laughs> Shout out to Amu. He did big business. He's a, Double HP as the, well. To the around, around the same time. Is he not a little later? But Double HP. Double H would put him in the generation after because yeah. Double H is in the in the TKS era and so. Oh yes, we forgot Pro. Pro gave us Red Button. Yes. And um and Captain. Yeah, and Captain, Captain. And, yes. and and Gigi was once signed um to Pro's label. Pro as Pro, well, so yeah. I was about yeah. to count him. Uh, so Double H fits into that, yeah, yeah. And that into generation. that category. Tear gas, Double uh, Pro. Pro, Double H, Slicker, Slicker and Smacks, and Smacks. Yeah, yeah and that's that generation. So Pro gave us Red Button, Captain, and Captain. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. lovely work. Uh, Tear gas, they give us Cash Time, yeah, and. Who else is out there? No Mozi. Yeah. Big no Mozi. Uh, big brought business. back mugs. <laughs> yeah. Brought back, but they didn't give us mugs. Do we count mugs for pro? We count mugs for pro, no? For pro. But it was signed, it was yeah. signed by Bongani Fass. He was, was signed. He was on Fassi Records. Yes, but the person who, but who made him move. Him. <laughs> who made him move? Can you say the guys that started records and have artists on the Yeah. Record? He was not. He was not. He was not pro's yeah, artist. Anyway. Okay, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. He wasn't pros, but the cosign. Oh, he was pros, cosign. Okay, but we'll, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We'll get into it. We'll, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll dig into it another day. So, so okay. So pro, we we're giving pro, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So pro is red button, captain, and we leave it at that. And, and oh no, we're doing tear gas because we're doing yes. the cash time. No mozi. No mozi. So cash time is smashes with zinger, mm -hmm. do we a -B, a B crazy, crazy. Yeah. Kid, X. kid X, and then you go to the cash time life. Yeah, Which that's where the, the no music comes in. Yeah, who was new? No music. Yeah, Muzi. so that's what they gave you then. Yeah. Okay, then it's. Who are the other niggas? Double H. Double H. Yeah. Double H. H. With Casper. Got the Casper. Oh, Murafe. 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 Uh, Casper. Mo, Mr. Momulemi. Yes. Dukes. Remember Dukes' first appearance was on on um Murafe. Oh yes. So we yes. got that under Double H. So it comes yeah. as a Double H cosine. Yeah, yeah, that's a no, but that's a Murafa cosine. Okay, but it's a Double okay, H cosine. Double, double, yes. double H's work, yes. Yeah. Shit, he's going crazy. Who else wants was Double H heating to list people? Is there someone else? Oh, wasn't Limonka on? L Limonka is a DJ. Limonka was Double oh, H's DJ. Who was the rapper, DJ? nigga? That was the. F no, that was no, the first rapper characteristic. Nigga, 
Oh yes, yes, him too. What's his name again? It wasn't Le Manco. What was his name? Shit. Yeah, the the speed rapper. Yeah, he had the, the a, a character about him, but mm, whoever that was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out to but him. But that's Double H's work. Yeah, yeah that's Double H's work. Shit, Double H might be smoking the niggas Yo, in his so generation. Far, mm. like, uh, and then Slick and Smacks with um, Quest of the Vintage. And you know, you know, you know, you know, before before ambitious, um, Kulichana gave us Fifi Cooper on him not but did they recognize her at that time? Like in terms of no, like, did she get no, the that recognition? Was I'm saying I'm saying the 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 the, the cosine game. Mm. But, but I'm saying was the cosine, the cosine recognized? Activate? It yeah, did it activate? activate. Did it yeah, did it activate? Did it operate? It didn't activate. Let's keep it probably. In <laughs> but that was that was one of the big singles from that album. Of course, yes, which is not we her. don't deny. Yeah. But we're saying because the cosine has to actually Kick work starts. the mm. cosign. Like it has to actually put the person on. You know that track was produced by your boy AB Crazy. Yeah, yeah, AB Crazy. Yeah. That's how actually Tia Gas knew of AB Crazy. Yeah. Even w- that's how they had him in mind when they were exchanging him for AB Fab. Mm. And we didn't count AB Fab, you, you, you niggas. Didn't you, count guys, AB Fab. Tia you guys gave you niggas AB Fab also. What are you, you guys doing? left AB Fab out <laughs> on Live Amp. He didn't know he's not part of the crew and KO went like, <sighs> this is a new member and he wasn't invited. That was yeah. mean. No. Nah. I had nothing he to do with it. He was just a kid. <laughs> <laughs> so he was just a kid. <laughs> I was just a kid who was being put on myself. Yeah. Do we decide on who's the best in each generation? I think that's fair. Yeah. And it's fair to say, come on, as we're breaking it down now, WH smoked niggas, no? I think it's clear that And yeah. also, even when you look at the best contribution, it's fair to say Casper's the best contribution from... Yes. But Casper and Quest are Casper. Yeah, Casper. Yeah. You know, even, Double HP it's not even put, a question. On, put on niggas who put on niggas. Because Kulichana went on to have his label. Casper went on to have his own label. Yeah, fair so it was like spiraling like that. Shit, that means Double H double is the Double H is the landlord. Yeah. Double H looking like so the landlord. So Double H, does that... Because that, that opens a whole other conversation because... Okay, let me not open it now. Should I open even it now? Snake, I don't know what to Snakes do now. Because even Snicks and Smacks now, we did the same intel. thing. They are, they are put on, put on also. Yeah. yeah. You know, so he gave us a Marqua. Questa gave us a Marqua. Gave us Rap Life, TLT. Mm. You know. I guess also in a sense, a Topsy also kind of like... Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a Rap Life that's cosine. A rap life, yes. That's a Rap Life cosine. Yeah, it was... Uh, by the way, Cypho's artist, shout out to Sid Records. Hey, it yeah. was Cypho's artist, but the cosign does go to Questa, Questa and Rap yeah. Life. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll uh, slick and It's Double said H. that we we choosing from the corpses, like, who was most alive. What do you mean <laughs> by that? The so crazy. Yeah. Because cause all these labels are dead. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, but great Over work. Time. Yeah, Coast yeah. Down. No, I understand. But that's great what I'm saying. It would be, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just wish you would still be alive. Yeah. And you're so strict. Yeah. Yes, I mean, of course, we wish that all of these could have still been alive to this still day. And rocking. maybe yeah. on another day, we can come back and then extend this conversation and speak on why do these labels die? And also then decide, we'll see... Because for me, I had so the first chap. You guys, you guys forgot Stogie and Motive Records. Damn. Shit, the Stogie gave Sorry, us Reason dog. and Ricky Rick. And Ricky, yeah. Woo, which is also strong. Stogie. Great, uh, thank you. Good save. Shout out Stogie. Stog, shout out to Stogie. See, he's also up there and he's, he's that business. same generation, yeah? Yeah. It would yeah. be fair to put him there. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, he's, he's doing big business for sure, for sure. Thank you, sir. Yeah, oh, so, yeah, but Double H is smoking everyone, no? Yeah, yeah his contribution is, is yeah. a bit, it's a bit heavy. So, what I was saying is, in the first chop that we attempted with UKO that I had, so, we were talking about gold status, right? And he was obviously putting himself at number one, and we were talking about who's number one. Top five, pretty much. Yeah. And obviously up there we have him, aka Casper, however you rate them. And then Double H, I guess Pro. Somewhere there in the top. That's somewhat your top five somehow. Yeah. You'll figure it out there. But so for me, 
I dissected it all the way down to those contributions. It just said that that show actually never got to come out because the sound was fucked up. And that was yeah. actually supposed to be my very first episode. It was so legendary. But here we are. We made it all the way to our second year doing Culture Chaps going crazy. Big business. Uh, so we went into all of that, right? And in that, he still put himself at number one. But now that I think about it, how many classics does WH have as far as albums? Is Acceptance Speech is a classic, no? It's definitely. That is, yeah. Yeah, that's a classic. Doesn't he have two, maybe? I think it's on two. What was the other album? What was the name of the album? The um, there's another one called Umang with Harambe and Tswaka and all those hits. Yeah, yeah. that's the one I'm thinking about. Yeah. Didn't it also have that um, one of the first times we had we heard KO on his own? Yeah, and he had a yeah, KO yeah. feature in one of the joints. Yeah, that yeah. was later on. Um, or something. Yeah. Double H, big penis. So, okay, we're going to have to go back and do our homework, but he was like, he puts himself at number one as GOAT because he's the only nigga with two classics, right? And at this point, obviously, nigga still had this, which is why I brought up the conversation of, is Touch My Blood a classic? Because he was like, nah, it's not a classic, which is why he said he's the only nigga with two classics. His yeah. classics, he's saying, is... Dark or Blue, fair to say, mm. yeah. and Scandal Republic, Republic, fair. Those are two classic Without albums. Question. All right, we hear you, big dog. So my response was, okay, but Forbes has two classics? It was like, two classics? Like, Levels, of course, he agrees. Levels is a classic. And then yeah. I was like, touch my brain. He was like, nah, which is what y'all said. But we got into it and we've... Established that yeah. no, such my is blood a is a classic. Even yeah. when we ask the public, the public, they everybody, yeah. it's a consensus. For sure, such my blood is a classic SA hip hop album. For so sure. that puts Forbes up there as well. He has yeah. two as well. Yeah. Does Cass have two classics? I know Tuto is a Casper classic. Isn't Tulu fell at the first one? Is Tulu fellow a classic? Tulu fellow has I, classic songs. It, it has, has it has, classic it has, songs. It has Kusheshe, it has um, Dog Shebeleza, mm. it has I Hope You Bought It, you know. And, but Pum, overall, and Pumagim, Pumagim is also. Yeah, Pumagim yeah. as well. Oh, lie, Pumagim. Yeah, you know, those, <laughs> yeah, crazy, those, crazy. those are crazy tracks, mm. you know. So, so but yeah, the, so album, the, the album was, was, was too long, you know. <laughs> the album was too long and not all the songs are classics. Yeah. Yeah, are you doing, I'm peeping. I'm peeping. Are you doing yeah. some background work there. Yeah. I think obviously we're gonna have to do some homework and come back and have that actual discussion. But we're just breezing through it, yeah. just off the top of the dome. And then who else in that top five? Pro. How many? How many classics does Pro have? He has to have two at least. The, if not three. The first. Uh, what's that? Uh, heads and tails. Heads and, and tails. tails. Yeah. Snakes and ladders. Classic. Yes. Yes. Not a not not no a question. question. No question. And snakes and snakes ladders. Snakes and ladders. Yeah. So he has two classes. He has two classes. Bro, even that. I all like the last album. The when he came back, he uh, continued. He continue. Aluta continue. continue. Yeah. I might be a controversial on take, a classic level. I won't lie. Maybe and, it was just on, that on the snakes, reception. I think I need to go back and snakes, jam. Yeah. Snakes, it, like, snakes and ladders. Uh, Classic. Ivy League. Classic. AKA was on production. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Those classic. two are definitely classics. Yeah. I'm just saying. I need continue. to go back and, oh. and jam. I was, I was in it um, beginning of the year. He yeah. Oh, it's like, I can't I believe it. I was feeling it. classic. Feeling. Yeah. But sometimes, like I said, I think it was the same thing with Touch My Blood. Like, mm. when you played it in the moment because mm. of maybe the climate or what's going on, maybe mm. it might not hit you. But, like, when you really but revisit... But it was a bit classic because that's when he had uh, Makasana. Makasana, yeah. it was going crazy, uh, talk. Ooh, Had talk. that song with Bussi, I remember that, as a jam on them. Bro. Uh, the joint with My E. Fala. That's a yeah. jam on there. The one with My E. Uh, what else was on there? I know, I rem Okay, yeah, Doug. I'm gonna go back mm. in. Go back in. He had really done. Yo, if Pro has three classics, Pro and he's smoking niggas. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> okay, but it's not just the classic albums, which is what I was getting to. Yeah. It's the work that you did as far as the work you offered, the art itself, but then also your contribution. So then we yes. bring in your co signs. Yeah. Who did you bring to the game with you? Yeah. 
right? Yeah. So that's why we just broke down who everybody brought into yeah. the game with them. And then when we've now established, okay, you have two classics, you have two, you have two, two, two it seems like there's a couple of niggas who, a couple who have niggas two. who might catch So two. who's that? Double H, Pro. Pro, KO. And with Pro, AKA. it might be leaning to three, might AKA. Be. Yeah. And then Cass possibly, because we might need to do some homework and be fair. I believe, yeah. I believe in the I two think he might being a have classic two. for me. Yeah. Yeah. I think he should have for two. For me, it's Come a on. classic. So, yeah, Cass is in there. So then we have them, which is that, that is the top five for yeah. me as I yeah. have it in yeah. of SA Hip Hop. Then there are contributions as far as who they brought. Now there's Cash Time, Family Tree, Cass by himself. Falls under the double H yeah, tree. Yeah, the same time, man. Mm. And then Forbes didn't do that work, but he has a young co sign. Yeah, that's the, that's the only thing. He falls short on there. Yes. And then but who also was, who's our put, fit? Put, put um, Tweezy on. That's a huge contribution. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's yes. fair. Yes. yes. We and we did have we did mention that good call. We yeah. did mention that when I saw it. I was like, yo, but the Tweezy yes. also is a Yeah. For sure. Shit. Ricky has one classic. Hmm? Uh Ricky has one album. Yeah, is it a classic? Is uh Gonja, what is it? Family values. Family values. values. Is family me, values a classic? For me, I don't feel it was, but I've seen people regard it, maybe because it's his only. Yeah, but I think it's... it's touching we me. have to be fair, because it's more. it has more of that... Uh, the Nipsey Hustle value, where they value the nigger. Yes. And the love for the nigger, they... Supersedes the music. Then they put it on the... But, like, yeah. if we're being fair... Yeah, and we take the album, just the album, and we and put it next to the albums we call classic, like all the other albums. I, I don't believe that Family Values is a classic. For being fair, and this is obviously respectfully. Yeah. Highly. But he's also up there as far as his contribution, as far as uh, the cosigns. And for sure. Yeah, the from people Boys and Barks and people other whose people lives he changed. Like, crazy contribution, yeah, even though he may have not like signed everybody. Yeah, yeah but he, mm. but he, he co-signed. He co-signed. Yeah. We you saw know, Frank we Casino. That we saw the early know, hoops. What he did with Imali Ning, with Big Zulu. So yeah. he always put people on. Definitely. Yeah, and he has Costa a long teach. list of... Costa Teach as well. Yeah. Even a Costa Big Hash... Broke and games. you know what's crazy is that when we we're having this conversation with KO, so we realized because I told him I was like, "Yo, Casper actually Loki smoked you," as <laughs> far as the cosigns. Yeah. Because yeah. when you look at the Family Tree roster, yeah, it was going crazy. Like Nadia, yo, now Tseho, Gemini, hey. Uh, do we are we do we give him the Ricky Rick cosign? Major League, yes, Major League. Give him the Major League. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, not giving him the Ricky. Though. We're not giving him the Ricky, yeah, no. Nah. Who are we giving the Ricky? Ricky just bloomed. Oh no, Ricky is motif. Did it on his own, but he didn't hit it like that. But it didn't. It motif. didn't drop at motif. He left. He he bought, yeah, he bought his he, masters. Yeah, he bought yeah. his masters. He hit his own level with the poison box motion. Yeah. Yeah, so he's his own man. The old man. <laughs> he was a goat. Rick. He was a goat, Rick. Yeah. yeah, he hit it himself with his niggas and then he contributed heavily to the game. Heavily. History. <clears throat> but yeah, I'd, he... I'd like to give a shout out that to the labels that are still striving, like MT Records. Um, MT, we didn't count. M M MT Records, um, 1020 Cartels, Java. Um, Fire label also, yeah. you you know, doing great work. It's just not a rap label. It, <laughs> that's it's not a, a rap. That's label. true, but it's yeah. but but it's a I label. With, I wanted to hip -hop. count them. There are mm. people. Though. I wanted to count them. They but are I cultural. Thought of that. I was yeah, like, <sighs> they are they are cultured. <laughs> yeah, they are cultured. They and then, and then also uh, with MT, it's a little tricky because he's come up in ambitious. I give the ATM to kind of ambitious than him. But it's his It's his, it's yeah. his brew, for sure. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm looking at... Yeah, it has to go to ambitions. Yeah, we have they to were be pumping fair. that whole engine. Yeah. 
Yeah. It is ambitious is put on. It is ambitious is put on because yeah. they who put MT on, you know, True. we give MT's but rise partly to MT's True. co-sign. It has to be because those are his people because we know those were his people before. Yeah, he, yeah, brought, he yeah. brought them he brought people. The talent that, yeah, they had the ATM movement before Ambitious. Nigga, been, been. Yeah. And they were, they were solid, you know. But if we're being fair and looking at the game objectively, mm. I think the credits would go to... Yeah, to, to Ambitious. ambitious. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we need to... Shout out to a Reese as well. Yeah, Reese obviously yeah. has, it up, has done it up. Flame, TWC. Yeah. Mesh beats. Nigga, it's lengthy. Uh, All the words. Kids, oh, words, dog. There's the hundred thousand degrees, the Pitori kids that a lot of people may not know. That is gang people. Reese really put yeah, it. Yeah, all sorts of. And and in Durban as well, Zakwe <coughs> has its own by nature. You know, Duncan came through Zakwe. Musicholic came through Zakwe. Mm. So he's doing some shit that side Big that we're business. not paying attention to. Okay, so I think we need an episode for this <laughs> entire section. Yeah, section. We're gonna need to go. Yo, it's gonna be a lot of work, though. So That's why I need to work. hire a producer. Please, guys, <laughs> pay us so we can hire and pay people. Cause damn, the producer is gonna put it all together. Cause well, the homework is crazy. The research. But we're gonna maybe do a top ten. Is it ten fair? It so that we ten, it has yeah. to be ten, so that we include everybody and everybody's contribution. We'll try yeah. and put that together. For sure. That should be fun for. Yeah. Some point in the future, culture chat back in business. You nasty Rolin and uh, Tellerman, mm, Eric Rush in Eric and out. Rush. <laughs> no, in and out, but yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> is Maglera too ahead artistically for the audience? Damn it, I just thought of something before we go to what? Maglera. Yes. <laughs> Fucking paper, dog. <laughs> Lucas Rabs, Black, Black King. King. The Quellas. Oh, Come contribution, on. yes. Yeah, yeah. Pepper. Paprika, yes. Paprika. Definitely. I think we have you to think give him. You think he might creep into the we top We have to 10. give him. We have to give him. Yeah, no, you do, you do have to give him. Because even M4 is pretty much him, Doug. That was him. Yeah, facts. That's, that was him. That's his A&R work. That's, yeah. his, that's his job. That's him. Yeah, shout out to Paprika. He, Pepper, yes. He is a gem finder. For sure. Anyway. What happened, Big Doug? So again, I'll pose the question: Is Maclera because uh, so? This came to me. I was thinking about how people can seemingly only really figure out how to appreciate Maclera's talent when he's on features, and this is because on features he's jumping on songs that he may not necessarily make himself. Like if you listen to his album. That's not the type of music he's making. The, the music that you find him on the features on is not the type of music he's making on his album. And then that has caused somewhat of a perception that obviously this is to, uh, what do you call them, casuals, like casual fans. For a casual fan, that, that's, that has caused the perception that, nah, but it's only really good on features. So that posed the question to me it's like because obviously me as an artist when I listen to his work the artistry in it the depth in it and just the intention behind the music yeah. is so well thought out like how can you not see and appreciate this for what it is yeah. left me with the question is Maclera just too ahead artistically for the audience for sure for he me is. He For is. me, I think McLaren has always been ahead, like from the first times I had heard him, you know, from the style, the approach. And I just think generally South African hip hop is more into the catchy music and like microwave shit. So, and with McLaren. <laughs> respectfully. Yeah. Respectfully. Um, <laughs> But with McLaren, I think, you know, the stitch to his pen, to, to, to the creative direction, to everything, his whole shit is so layered. Like, I think that level of artistry, I think, you know, flies above a lot of people's heads. They don't really get to see, like, to the mm. detail, to the T. They just fuck with the features on the songs that bang. But if you really check out his album, the songs, yeah. like, the mm. style, even for him teaching black people about our culture is so heavily in the music. Yeah. When, when, when you listen to memoirs, that's, that's some shit that needs to be performed with an orchestra, you know, 
Imagine performing that shit for the kids. Dog, have you heard Dor to Pov? Be, they're gonna think it's boring because they're not there yet. Dog, songs like Dor to Pov, yes. yeah, like yeah. it's just, it's just a, a, on a whole nother level that I don't think yeah. people are ready to understand or and digest. That, and that reminds me of there's a clip that went viral by uh, there's this nigga. I think he's a content producer, is what I'll call him. OK Swisher. Of this nigga that he asked, I think they were in Bram, and he was like, Yo, who's your favorite artist? But Clara Topo, you see that nigga, the short nigga, who's like, yeah, and then yeah. he counts songs and he doesn't count, like, how proud of himself he is for like being a McLaren fan. It's like, that's what those are the fans that hear and appreciate McLaren, yeah. but the general don't seem to. Yeah, I don't think the general taps in all that way, but I think McLaren should not even worry about that because I think that niche that is created and the fans that actually do tap in and understand, like, they're worth more than 10,000 fans that are casual, you know? Facts. That one fan who's really going to digest the shit that you're doing because, yeah. you know, you know from being in the studio, talk, the effort you make and the, the stitch you take, mm. you're waiting for people to catch those pockets like, hey, talk, no one's hearing what I'm... Yeah, you know, they just they hear the hook, yeah, in, in, in the your... flow, but like the things I'm actually saying. So I think Maclera has those niche um, fans that really tap in and understand. You know, I'm one mm. of them who really taps in and listens. And I think the general consumer like can appreciate that it's yeah. fire, but I don't think they all the way get how fire Maclera really is. And that's some timeless shit. You know, one day he will get rich from. A Hollywood producer saying, "I want to use this song." You Facts. Know? That's. I think that's the only because time they make it. Eventually, eventually, someone somewhere is gonna get it and say, "Gonna realize how yeah. amazing the yeah. art is." And you know what I mean. And in most cases, that person is not in this country, for yeah. sure. And that, with what you're saying there, it also brings me to the point of looking at the times that we are in now and the trajectory that hip hop is moving in. And how artists seem to move. Are we living in a time where you're better off creating a niche than serving the casual? The casuals obviously is a bigger pool. Bigger because pool. that's when we talk about the hits and this, that, and that. You know, songs that cross over, that's, you know. Yeah. But for that's now. That's radio, that's but, but everything. But for now. That and then there's niche. There's niche like Reese and even Nasty has his own niche, even though he has a huge appeal. casual, yeah, mainstream appeal. He he also does have a niche. Like people who For believe sure. in like Casper has his own niche. For sure. It seems is it a time where it's better you're better off actually cultivating a niche for yourself? Than trying to reach for? For me, if I had to advise um, an artist that I was sitting down with or maybe doing business with, I would highly advise them to stick to um, cultivating your own lane because that will always um, be around. You're building something that's going to stay, right? And those are the people that you can sell hard tickets to those are fans that can come to shows you can set up tours you don't have to be super mainstream and wait for gigs to get you know yeah. you can cultivate your own space and create your crowd and kind of direct your crowd in which direction they're moving mm. versus the mainstream appeal where those fans are you know they 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 move up and down whether yeah. the trend goes this way or the that niche, way the know? niche will sustain you mm. you can yeah. have you can have a crossover hit last year this year we move on yeah. yeah, but the niche will move with you. Also, another yeah. thing is they can show you that there can be a new genre tomorrow that can blow you out the water. Yeah, but your niche can appreciate whatever genre and still tap into you. You know, they'll yeah. never stray away. I guess that's fair. Yeah, <laughs> Thank so. you. I would say stay, yeah. keep the niche, but try a little yeah. mainstream yeah. appeal. Yeah. It wouldn't hurt to have some appearances, but. Don't the best thing to do, the best thing that you can do is to try and balance both. Of course, yes. Like yeah. build yourself a niche and grow it. Yeah. But also do practice the art of being able to nail to more. the mainstream appeal course, yeah. as well. And I think if your foundation is you and your niche putting it together, fighting, and then you have <coughs> a mainstream appeal, like no matter if you have that hit this year, next year you don't, you have your fan base to fall back on mm. versus someone who just shoots straight into the sky and becomes the best, but there's no foundation, there's no niche. So if that yeah. hit goes away and you don't have one, you ain't got shit. Then you're back to the bottom. You're back to the bottom. 
Yeah, you're better off with a niche. So to all the upcoming artists out there, forget about chasing everybody else's fans. Start with your own two, three fans to a hundred, to a thousand, to ten thousand until it becomes what your dream is for it to become. For sure. Uh, <clears throat> is there anything else we've forgotten to attend to culturally before we close out? Because I want us to close out with uh, obviously a different topic about the six suspects that they've caught there. That's what they reported, that they've just arrested six suspects for the assassination of uh, Keenan Forbes. Keenan Jared Forbes, mm. the are goat. We, are, we, are we still shocked about people coming out uh, for Didi? Oh, <laughs> yes, there's also that. <laughs> I thought I was going to skip that because... But that's something, so this time, it was a male um, producer that has come out to uh, sue Didi, no? Yeah. For sexual assault. What do you need to say about it? I don't know. For me at this stage, it's like, ugh. Whatever, man. We know Didi. Like, what are we going to do? He's a filthy man. <laughs> <laughs> but there's nothing we can say. You know, we, mm. we're we seeing all these videos every day, you know. It's and so it crazy. makes sense now. It's so crazy. I never thought we'd be in a time where shit like this is going on. It's just normal. It's like, damn, news mm. about Diddy being a freaky man is just on the net like that. You in think the world, it's happening here so yeah, on the low? <laughs> in SA yeah for sure like do we have uh, freaky executives that are t that are touching freaky the niggas freaky executives or just freaky niggas which one are you asking freaky executives that are taking advantage of their positions not even executives like in the game filthy freaky niggas mm. in the game I think in the so. game, yes, yes, in the game. For sure, there's a creep somewhere there, Doug. For sure. I don't know anybody, but I'm yeah. just saying, like, for sure. I think so. I mean... Definitely some weird names. There is, I think, in the entertainment industry, I can't think of any hip-hop or whatever, but, like, there's, there's been times where there's, like, just rumors of, yeah, such and such, a boy has a big mm. homie who's fiddling with well, his cheeks or something. business. Oh, so and so has a fan that is driving a Porsche. You we don't know where he's getting the money from. Yeah, we've seen. <laughs> we, yeah, we've seen certain people that live certain lifestyles. Yeah, it's like, for sure. But this person doesn't even really work like that. Like that. Like, how are you finding yeah. this? Big where is dog? all of this coming from? How are you finding this wave, big dog? Yeah, because how are you doing this? I'm playing with this too much. Save me, big dog. Yeah, I think there's definitely something there in the air for sure. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past the industry. Yeah, like, I mean, there is also that, um, what was that? There's this lady that put out that book about what? The Hockey Club. I mean, oh, that, yeah, yeah, the Hockey Club. That, that itself tells you that it's culture crazy. exists. Yeah, where it does like, exist. It has, it has, where it's know. like there's um, people from, what is it, government individuals, but just high ranking individuals yeah. in the country who go into certain locations where there's yeah. no network. Go, go read the hockey club. <laughs> yeah, go read the hockey <laughs> club. You know, do you think we, we're going to reach um, the DD level where niggas is suing niggas for sexual assault? I mean, uh, I think we're suing. way younger than, <laughs> than Hollywood. <laughs> maybe not suing, but I think there yeah. probably might be some exposure. Coming out, yeah. There yeah. some exposure. But yeah. I mean, things are developing quite quickly, so we might we may still experience a time where people start saying, what's hey, me and Jay, about uh, this and this show, such and such a uh, personality touched me up like this. and Didn't Briggs get arrested on... on yeah, yeah, Some but that show. was yeah, it, it, that was just him in his own life. It's not, I don't know if he was. No, it was. It wasn't. It wasn't industry related. Industry related. <laughs> was he was just a filthy man. Some family man. shit. But isn't this shit like also like personal shit? It's just that he's a man in the industry. Now nah, he was taking advantage of people who was working in with. the industry. Mm, okay. He was. We was using his actual power to put people in position and then fondle them. 
allegedly, <laughs> <laughs> allegedly, the guy still seems this anyway. Okay, yeah, yeah. I get you. Yeah. With the work element, okay, I hear yeah, it's, he's actually yeah. using, using his the position yeah. to. We, we need that revolt shit. Yeah, we still. <laughs> <laughs> We still try to get a revolt. <laughs> Damn, maybe we shouldn't have spoke about this. Yeah, boy, you put us in the trenches. All right, let's wrap it up with um, the headline, breaking news, which yeah. is the six suspects that they've taken for Kenan Forms. How do we respond to this update? I mean, we've had a couple updates when it comes to this um case. This case yeah. And is this even really a real update? Like I saw... Some policemen out there giving, a, I guess it's a press conference. Yeah, about, yeah, I saw that too. Talking about, yeah, uh, Forbes was the main target. Like, nigga, we, <laughs> <laughs> nigga we do that when we saw the clip. Yeah, we know he was the fucking what, target. That's your update? After so long. He was followed from... The airport. The airport, yeah. Duh. yeah. That's how assassinations <laughs> are pulled off, big no, dog. Twitter like, told us these things yeah. like days after it happened, nigga. Like we've been known this information. This is not an update. It's not a fucking update. In fact, I could update you more than you are updating me. But like, there was um, a detail that I had no man- that had never been mentioned before, which was the price of yes, oh yeah, of yeah. the hits eight hundred thousand eight hundred k. Crazy. That's crazy. It's crazy. So two two other suspects were caught in Swaziland. So you get the bag and you decide to go to Swaziland. Yes, the nearest Because the bag of also is that's a serious bag. But also apparently <laughs> they didn't catch the whole bag. They got a hundred and thirty three thousand and then the amounts are supposed to collect at another time. I yeah. read some shit like that. So mm. they didn't catch I'm the more interested eight. on on someone who called the heat and Paid out the money. That's why yeah, I'm pointing out how big the bag is because that yeah. says that this is a wealthy person that it is calling for this. Person. This might be the highest coins I've heard. You, Ed Hanna. In South Africa. That you, person you, wants you dead for real. Yeah, no, that's that's serious. But do you think they, they're going to rent on him? If he's putting out Ed Hanna, I don't I think so. It. Yeah. Is it possible? Sure. I don't sure. think they're going to Because isn't that him. what even the... The Italian mafias do. They let Nias take the fall and they say, yo, yeah. gonna the family's nice going to be taken care of nice yeah, inside. and inside. Yeah. yeah, I think the only way this goes south for that organization is if they didn't get their full coins, which is the word I'm seeing on the streets, is that they obviously didn't get to collect the entire 800,000. Okay. So if maybe things go Does wrong that on that give us end, a loophole? they yeah. may give us a loophole. Niggas may want to talk because... It's, you know, as soon as niggas, they're disgruntled. But do, but, do but we this, feel like they guy, even got the right niggas? Because this is not the first time they're saying they found niggas. Personally, I have no real belief in the South uh, African I don't have, I don't justice have, system. I don't, I don't have high hopes yet. I'm not banking on it. Like, some funny shit can happen. Okay, you it's know. not the right guy. Maybe there's another. They, mm. had, they had a whole... Series about Senzo on Netflix. They mm. even showed us the people who got arrested from that, but mm. the case is still going on to this day. So yeah, no sh- excitement for this update. We're just nah. checking it out and yeah. saying, oh, okay. So even when they're on trial, I'll have no. I wouldn't feel like finally the days come where you know. I mm. think once, even I don't even think when the judge hits it, I don't even think I'd still be satisfied because I just don't know, man. Like, South Africa, there's no transparency also in the case, you know? Mm. There's a lot and of we have we no know. faith and there's no the there's system. no proof in them hunting and finding their man. Nah, it's man. not like, that's not what they're known for. And South Africa, money is always, you must understand, yeah. money is always at the top. Yeah, the money does the talking. No matter what. I was crying about that this past weekend because it was a payday weekend. So the the roadblocks, <laughs> that's how you know, <laughs> say, Santa, the money talks. Yeah. Soon as they know people have the coins, niggas are outside stopping niggas. The Not because they love their like, job. How are, we, how are we being stopped on this street? Because they want to hold the coins. Yeah, see, we know you just got paid. But they never, they never in Hillbro in Sunnyside. Where the real truth <laughs> yeah. yeah, where there's actual crimes to be investigated. And everybody knows. 
No, just want to deal with this. We live in a crazy country. Yeah, so for me, Doug, to 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 speak on that point, I don't. I'm, I have no excitement. Um, I really hope these are the guys. Um, I really hope the justice system does something. You know, mm. at least set an example for this type of shit can't keep happening because yeah. once more people do these things and more people get away with it, it becomes a norm. You know, and we've become so desensitized. Which it low key has things. become. Yeah, I mean, even the assassination of DJ Somebody. Yeah, I don't know if there's been any developments in that case. I haven't heard anything. No. Haven't Since. heard of any promising leads or anything of the Since. sort. No. And that's also we're kind of just moving and on. Like what's super dangerous? Regular. Also, it's like it's not that it hits or people being killed is something new. That's been happening, you know, for years. Mm. People get assassinated. It's been the way of life. So, but <laughs> way, now, of way, life. Of, way of death, way of death, nigga. Life is way crazy. of death. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's happening. <laughs> but yeah. for me. What I feel is dangerous is when these things are starting to go more public, like seeing footage of someone like when AKA. niggas get shameless, like yeah, now they're like, hitting niggas it's like brazen now, like it's going to a point hitting them at Florida is crazy. AKA that's too much comfort Florida. in the in the execution. Yeah, yeah, like that's what I'm saying. It's getting to a point where. It's just so brazen and things are starting to happen like the wild, wild west, you know. Mm. Not to say these things weren't happening, but imagine for the people watching, like, it's become normal. You saw a man, a superstar, get yeah. shot in the head on camera. We have video. Like, we all watched it as a country. That's crazy. That's crazy. I, it's saw, I saw this video. I saw this video on Twitter. These niggas with rifles shooting in the air. Yeah, oh, yeah. I saw that. Where was it? Cape Town, yeah. Yeah. Cape Town, Cape Town, yeah. So crazy. that's what I'm saying. Like, we're becoming desensitized and more... Uh, and cowboys. We're living like cowboys. The more these things are in the public and reach a public space, I think it unlocks a fear in certain people and hiding things because crime has always been there. Murder has always been there. The mafia state and how people move the taxi life. Mm, corruption, yeah, all yeah. of it. It's always been there, but it's always been a culture that is kept kind of like the underground. Mm. It's like the underground world. Now it's becoming mainstream. Like niggas yeah. are getting killed left, right and center. People of high stature, businessmen, politicians, like... You know, it's just, yeah. it's, it's, it's a worrying way. I think overall, just the, just the nasty work is becoming more brazen because even brazen. on the other side, when you look at social, at the social standard, the prostitution and yeah. nasty rich life. old men yeah. fucking with and women selling cheeks, like that's become normalized in a way of life. So it's like, it's just going crazy. Throughout, uh, just stay prayed up and God save us. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. yeah, and I think also, I mean, touching on the state of the country on our way out, it would be uh, responsible for us to say that this year it's a voting year, so please guys, people tap must in, go, go out votes. there and exercise their democratic right and vote for the right people. You need us a voting. I'm voting. Everybody, go vote, please, guys. You, <laughs> you don't know who to, to vote know. for. <laughs> <laughs> Decide who, who you want to vote for. for people research. don't know who to vote for. I, see I, I know, I know who, who not to vote for. Mm. Yeah. Who do you not vote for? Come on. I think man. it's safe to leave it at that. <laughs> uh, we'll see you guys next time. Culture <laughs> chat, big business. Rashid Gay, the OG. <laughs> Fox, the most epic. Lord of one, the entire. One. We'll see you guys. <laughs> Please vote, guys. On the next one. Please vote. For sure. Yo, the league is killing me.